Hello and welcome to Bethel, James Whitworth here and today we're looking at the latest Fortnite news. Cool stuff. Fortnite has teased Marvel themed season, but iPhone and iPad players could miss out. I'll put the link to this article in the description, I'm not going to read through it all. So what Fortnite did was added a direct payment system into the game, which goes against App Store rules. So Apple decided to remove Fortnite from the App Store, it doesn't matter if you're a small creator or you're epic, if you don't follow the App Store rules then your app is going to get removed. So you think, well that's bad enough, but then Epic decided to sue Apple and uh, so on. You get the whole gist of it, it's a whole ongoing thing. So iPhone and iPad players will miss out on the new season unless something changes between Epic and Apple before Thursday. Now it's not a lot of time before Thursday, so some people have thought, do you know what? This is a business opportunity. So I don't know, let's type in iPhone 11 Pro. So how much can you get an iPhone 11 Pro? Let's go to used, 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 used. Let's, get a, let's give a fair comparison. Okay, so used, you get 749, 799, 720, and so on, 800, 860. Also, with anything used, it depends on the condition. Sometimes they come with a box, sometimes they may have a scratch or a dent. However, if you wanted to go on to iPhone Fortnite, you get the cases and accessories, which is fair enough. However, Let's go ahead and sort it by highest price. <laughs> oh my days. I, I'm lost for words. <laughs> I'm actually lost for words. £18,534.52. That's how much you're going to have to spend if you want an iPhone with Fortnite. I mean, it's not even the iPhone 11 Pro. This is the XS Max, which, I mean, it's not a bad phone, but it's... It's not an iPhone 11 Pro. Like new condition, I just hope so too. Do you know what? My my favourite thing about this is the fact that they're charging only one penny for postage. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes. Wow. <laughs> I don't. I actually don't know what to say. I'm, I'm not usually speechless, but this is a prime example of me being speechless. Yeah, so uh, that that's, that's something. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. So iPhone 11 Pro Max with Fortnite. £10,800. <laughs> the best platform to play Fortnite mobile on. I should hope so too for that price. Do you know what? I'm, I'm actually speechless. I don't... <laughs> this is hilarious, but it's kind of crazy at the same time. Surely no one's actually going to buy these. Surely not. iPhone X with Fortnite downloaded and working brand... How can it be brand new if they've installed Fortnite on it? I'm pretty sure Apple don't install Fortnite. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's new. I think it's just in very good condition. Okay, so fair enough. Being able to play Fortnite on an iPhone is very, very unlikely. I mean, you may be able to drill break it, but that's a bit kind of technical. And if that's not your sort of forte, I mean, first of all, you could just literally buy a fairly decent gaming computer or a laptop and be able to play Fortnite for a lot less than 18 grand, that's for sure. But say if you really wanted that mobile format, you could just go on to, I don't know, uh, Samsung Galaxy, the S20. Okay, so if you want the S20, is there actually any used? Oh, there's a few used. So if you wanted the S20 Ultra, you can pay 725. There's an auction one, 514. You get the general gist of it. That is a lot more better value. You can just buy a used Android phone if you really want to. Obviously there's lots of other alternatives to Android phones. There isn't just Samsung, there's Google and so on. So although if you go into Play Store and type in Epic Games, it's no longer there. If you have a Galaxy phone, so if you have a Samsung Galaxy phone, what you can do is go into Galaxy Store and type in Epic Games. If you don't have a Galaxy phone, click the link in the description. So what it will do, it will give you the option to download directly from Epic Games. If you just tap on the button there, and it will come up with the uh, APK file. This is basically the app file. I was kind of expecting this to happen. Oh, do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when people installed Flappy Bird. Remember remember that game Flappy Bird? Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird.io. Remember this game? I used to be really good at this game. I'm now no good at this game. Come on. Oh, yeah, boss. Boss. Boss, okay, we, we, we got we got three. <laughs> but yeah, this all happened when, because suddenly Flappy Bird was removed off all the mobile app stores. I think the app developer just didn't want to be involved in it anymore. And 
people were starting to sell their iPhones with a Flappy Bird pre-installed for loads of money. That is exactly what this reminds me of. Just imagine the same listings, but just swap Fortnite with Flappy Bird. It was a whole crazy, crazy thing. Let's have a one, one last go of Flappy Bird. I haven't played this in ages. I can't remember what my best score was on this now. Oh, 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 absolutely. Um, boss. <laughs> this game is hilarious. I remember people used to rage quit this game so much. And to be honest, I don't blame them. This game is pretty frustrating. You get the whole gist of it. This is crazy. Overpriced. Don't buy an iPhone of pre-installed Fortnite. And let's be honest, using a phone with a pre-installed account is a little bit for security risk. Anyway, even if it wasn't 18 grand, it's probably a bit of a security risk. So, okay, so to run Fortnite, you need four gigabytes of RAM. So what I've done is typed in Android four gigabytes of RAM. And as you can see, we have loads of examples here. Some that I've heard of, some that I haven't, but all good shouts. I mean, look, you can get a Galaxy A30s with four gigabytes of RAM, 184 pound. You get a used S7, although I'd probably maybe opt for something a little bit more modern because you get Android version issues if you uh, go too well behind. G8 Power Lite, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 129. I mean, all good shouts. G8 Power, 147. It's even got the hole punch camera and everything. I mean, there is a lot of phones, basically, I'm just saying. A Galaxy A51, that, that's a good phone for your price, if you want a uh, good mid-range phone. Yeah, look at this, I mean, this is a lot of phone for your money. A Galaxy A51, Prism Crush, look, look how much cameras you have. <laughs> I mean, come on, I mean, four gigs of RAM. I mean, what more could you possibly want? Super AMOLED display. I mean, there's so much different examples available. I mean... Another one that was a good shout, G8 Power, which obviously has a really good battery life. I haven't actually used any of these phones before, I'm just saying. These are just my rough guidance. But look, you've got a full HD Plus display. I mean, that's going to look awesome with Fortnite. It's just, yeah, I mean, you have so much different options available, depending on how much you want to spend. If you want to get a phone exclusively just to play Fortnite Mobile, you have so much different options available. You don't have to splash out on the latest flagship, that's for sure. Just make sure you've got... Uh, four gigs of RAM and you probably want something with at least Android 8 just to be on the safe side you don't want to go too far behind if you like this video smash that like button don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing I'm on Facebook Twitter Instagram Snapchat and TikTok follow me at Baffle channel for the latest head over to baffle.cc thanks for watching and have a baffling day